It took a large part of the community coming together to make Red Best Way a possibility. The preparation for the project was immense, so something we've never done before. Red Best Way has allowed 21 families here in Charlotte to be able to move into a home that's going to be affordable to them. Red Best Way was a huge undertaking and it took a lot of planning on our staff's part. We had over 4,200 individual volunteers that invested a huge number of hours and then we had more than 50 corporate and faith-based sponsors that came together to supply the funding for these houses as well. Not to mention the hours that our families invested. That was 6,300 hours that was invested just by the 21 partner families. This is the first time we've done a project to this scale that required infrastructure um, all the way through the building process. Typically when we get property, it already has you know, sewer lines and water access, but these are things that weren't there on Red Best Way. So it took a lot of preparation and planning for engineering for that infrastructure, the development of the street and the sidewalks, things that we haven't done traditionally in our building. The need for affordable housing in Charlotte is immense. So we know from different reports that the city has put out that there's more than 55,000 people in Charlotte that need affordable housing units that aren't available right now. Land scarcity is a huge problem here in the Charlotte area. So we felt that the best use of our resources would be to start thinking bigger. And so we were able to purchase this raw piece of land that's now Red Best Way um, and really start from the ground up to develop it into what it is. Habitat Charlotte Region does have plans to do continued developments of this size and scale and even larger. We've seen studies that show that having housing, affordable, stable housing has a huge impact on the family dynamic. So financially, we think we're hopefully providing something that's much more affordable than where they previously lived that's going to allow them to do things that maybe they haven't been able to do before, like save, think about retirement, think about college planning. Emotionally, I think it provides a sense of security for these families that they have a place that's theirs. A lot of our families, this is the largest asset that they'll ever own. And we hear time and time again when families get approved into the program that their main motivation for participating and going through the Habitat program is so that they can have something to give to their children. Our kids, we've seen studies come back to show us that having a home uh, it has a huge impact on their success at school. We hope that it's really providing a safe place for them to grow um, their family and live for many years to come.